I had been receiving treatment for migraines for probably about eight years, starting around when I was 12 years old. Um, I'd really tried everything. I'd been to a bunch, uh, lots of different doctors, even doctors out of state, um, doctors in different cities. I had tried acupuncture and massage therapy and biofeedback, really any outlet that they have. And finally the headaches had gotten to the point where I had to leave school and they really were controlling my life. Her headaches were under excellent control until she went to college. The first year they went out of control, she was hospitalized, they couldn't stop it. Kim had to withdraw from college, come back, and they reached the point that for the most part Kim was having trouble even leaving her house to go out to lunch with her parents. Here I was, 20 years old, not able to work, not able to attend class and go to school. And I finally realized, you know, maybe there is an end to this, maybe there is a solution, and maybe I can have this problem, but live my life the way I want to and actually have control over it. The unique expertise that we have here and what we've developed is a procedure using an implanted neurostimulator for control of severe migraine headaches. A neurostimulator is an implanted unit. Uh, you can think about it like a small pacemaker for the heart, and it's meant to stop pain. Now everybody says that we put this in, it doesn't look little, but it really is small, and it, once it heals up, you can't see it under the skin at all. I remember waking up with like tears in my eyes because the pain was finally gone, and I, I just knew that this neurostimulator was actually working. He's a really great doctor, he's really caring, and he'll be honest with you whether this is the right avenue or not. He's really there to help the patients, and if he thinks that this neurostimulator can help them, then you know, he'll tell you, and if he thinks you need to try this other avenue first, he will. He really is about helping the patient and getting the patient healthy, and I recommend him to anyone that had migraines or chronic pain like I did.